Now, the Central Bank of Kenya has flagged over 400 digital lending companies it says are operating illegally, as they have only licensed 32 companies. In a session with the Senate Finance and Budget Committee, Central Bank of Kenya Governor Dr. Kamau Thuge was at pains to explain why CBK, as the regulator, was yet to take action on the lenders. Senators also sought to know what CBK was doing to protect unsuspecting Kenyans, some of whom have been defrauded by the institutions. The intention of my statement, Bona Governor, was to bring to the attention of the central bank that actually there exist lenders who are within these regulatory frameworks that are actually constantly uh, disregarding the existing laws. Predatory lending, where it's like Shylock way where young people are losing their assets like border borders. We realized that uh, the DCP were not really uh, consumer friendly. It's where then we now brought them under the ambit of the, uh, of the central bank. And uh, as I said earlier, we have licensed 32 <coughs> and quite a number of them are, are remaining. So do you want to tell this committee that I can today wake up and open a Mutinda microfinance and uh, since I've not come to you for regulation, I still continue. Out of the 400 applications that are with you, uh, some you've said they have not even applied. But because the law gives you the regulatory authority, I would like to direct that you start with Momentum Credit Company, Mugo, and uh, Tugende, in terms of what to, what to, when, when, what to, those four, and you do regulatory audit to extent of compliance as a, a regulatory authority that is in existence because protections begin somewhere.